just work one more year. That'll definitely change things for you. It'll definitely put you in a financial better position if you work just one more year, because what's more important than a better financial position, right? Am I right? <sighs> anyway, so I get emails all the time from people. I can't believe I was able to retire. I can't believe you opened my eyes. I can't believe this. I can't believe that. Basically saying that I'm the best, you know, of course. We all know that to be true. We all know it to be true. All right, you know, they should put my name in the Raptors. Josh, retire my number, whatever my number is. All right, but anyway, what's my favorite number? The number seven, which is probably bad luck, isn't it? Isn't number seven bad luck, actually? Anyway, so, uh, uh, you know, there are some people who do need to work a couple more years. And I was talking to a, a couple up in, uh, in the great Northeast. And I said, dude, you got, he, you know, just not in a happy place with his job. But he's thin. He's not getting too heavy. He's just not in a happy place. And he needs to work for two more years because he has some debt. And it's just, it just says, he makes good money. And we ran the numbers and said, yeah, it's going to be tough if you were hanging up at the end of this year. But if you hang it up at the end of 2025, you're, you're, looking, you're looking solid. Um, you know, if you want to keep your life, you know, the, 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 uh, the quality of life that you've come to appreciate, i.e. you want to keep your spending as it is, then you're going to have to work a couple more years, even though you had a couple million bucks set aside, but the couple million bucks is subject to tax in a Northeast state in Bo Jiden. And so, uh, that couple million bucks, you know, 30% of it is, is allocated to taxes. So you take off. Well, uh, $2 million, you take off 30%, and so he's only got, what's that, uh, $1.4 million. He doesn't have $2 million bucks, because the government gets uh, 30%, because the state and the Bojaya. But for him, he does need to work a couple more years. However, many of you guys are not like that. I talk to people all the time. Just got a lady email me today, or yesterday. She got laid off. And we crunched the numbers, and she kind of was expecting it. But we crunched the numbers, and she's good to go. You know, it doesn't take have to take a big hit to her expenditures. She just doesn't spend that much money to begin with. And this is why I just I tell people, man, if you can focus on the two biggest aspects that are in your control of future expenditures, it's debt and taxes. If you can focus on getting those behind you, once once the taxes and debt are behind you. What do you mean you can't? You can't control taxes. Yes, you can. I've done uh, my whole channel is based on that. Debt. Yes, you can. Once you get that stuff behind you, I, I, you'll be shocked at how little you actually consume. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, it's got my electricity bill. It's significant this month. Five hundred three dollars. Matter of fact, you know, I got a big house. I got a pool, and it's hot. All right, so we use air conditioning. You got a family of six in my home. You got a pool. Pool runs a uh, pump. Thankfully, it's because it's so warm. The pump doesn't need to be running 24 7, like in the wintertime, oh, which drives me crazy. I hate that in the wintertime, hearing that pump kicking on. I'm just like, that's just money out the door. But anyway, so our electricity bill is high this month. I imagine yours was too. Uh, we are in the deep south, and it is in the middle of summer. If you weren't expecting, a high electricity bill in the deep south in the middle of summer. I think you're living in a la la land. All right, come winter time, that bill will go away for the most part. I mean, it doesn't go to nothing, but it'll go down quite a bit. And what will kick in instead will be my natural gas bill because we heat with natural gas. All right, so now we fast forward five, six years from now. All the kids are out of the house. I don't need this big old house. We'll still get a pool. I like having a pool. Turns out, actually, in our in, in this neck of the woods where I live in North Fulton County, Georgia, having a pool is a desirable commodity. A guy down the street sold his house, put $100,000 into a pool just two years ago. He got $150,000 back for it. So his pool is a profitable endeavor. I'm not expecting that, but who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Anyway, so the people who bought his house sold their house in Buckhead in Atlanta because I guess a guy woke up one day and in his backyard there's a guy with a handgun wandering around his backyard he says we're getting the hell out of Dodge you can actually see that's going to happen more and more actually it's all part of the design yeah Operation Mockingbird is real Operation Paperclip is real all these things are real my friends I know people say oh you're such a conspiracy theorist okay 
Uh, after what happened these last three years, if you're not a conspiracy theorist, I don't know what's, what's wrong with you, because it seems to me there's a lot of validity to the conspiracy theories that have come to fruition. Anyway, so my man, um, so this guy, he sold his house, came up here. We're safe. We're still in Fulton County. I would suggest you get out of Fulton County because it's run by the DA who's prosecuting Trump. It's weird, too. I don't understand. There's plenty of county DAs that are Republicans. I don't know why it's only the Democrats that do this stuff. How come the Republicans don't prosecute their political opponents? I mean, obviously, all you need is a district attorney in a right-wing county. And you can start freaking prosecuting anybody you want, apparently. It's crazy. Fulton County, they can prosecute the President of the United States. Why can't freaking, you know, I don't know, Gilmer County prosecute Bo Jide? I don't get it. Oh, he didn't do anything. Well, you can find something. Why can't Attorney General prosecute? That's why they want uh, Ken Paxson so badly, as a matter of fact, in Texas. And the Republicans, because the Republicans are part of the same, again, the same machine. It's a uh, two-winged bird. The bird is evil. The right wing is evil. The left wing is evil because it's all part of the same bird. Anyway. So going back to what I was saying, once you get the two big bills of taxes and debt behind you, you're going to be traveling a whole lot lighter than you think. Now, you'll never be able to change the health care costs. Health care is, once you're on Medicare, it is what it is, man. There's no two ways around that. You know, I, I try on right capital, I use 200 bucks a month for, uh, uh, for Part B, uh, 40 or 50 bucks a month for Part D. And then we get supplemental policies out of pocket and all that. I usually charge another 250 bucks a month for all that stuff as well. So in right capital and healthcare, Medicare, all in is about 500, 550 bucks a month per person. And I'm inflating that at five and a half percent a year. Got a guy with an earth mover up there and there's nothing you can do about that. You're gonna pay it. All right. You're gonna pay for the uh, premiums. That's, you're just gonna have to, that's all there is to it. Unless you're on Medicaid and we don't want you on Medicaid, we want you on Medicare, all right? So we got 550 bucks a month per person. There's nothing you can do about that. You're going to pay it. But income taxes, you know, when I retire, my goal is to live off solely Social Security, my brokerage account, and my Roth. And as such, guess what? No income taxes. No income taxes. That's my goal. Oh, part two of that, my goal is to live off the cash I generate from the sale of my home and I downsize. How much that would be, I don't know. We'll see. And maybe a couple hundred, 500,000 bucks, something like that. Who knows? I don't know. But we shall see, and that will be taxed as the interest I make. But I imagine by that time the interest would be lower than it is today. But let's just say at 500,000 bucks in cash, at 5% a year interest, just for simplicity, that's $25,000 of interest income. Now, if that makes me have to pay tax on Social Security, um, I'll start consuming that. And I'm glad in my brokerage account I just keep going because my brokerage account uh vti there's no capital gains in vti and the dividends are quite low the dividends what two i mean i think less than two percent so we'll just see how that shakes out but if i had you know twenty five thousand dollars of interest income say between charlotte and me sixty thousand dollars of social security that's eighty five thousand dollars and we'll say another i don't know five five thousand bucks of dividend income off of vti or something like that that's ninety thousand bucks to in today's numbers um with no debt, there'd be hardly any tax on that. I'll have to go back and do a video on that. I mean, I actually am curious how much my tax would be on that. I don't think it'd be much. We think about it. provisional income, $30,000 from Social Security, $30,000 from uh, uh, interest income and dividends. So my provisional income is 60,000 bucks. The first 32 is tax-free, all right? It's not subject to income tax, I should say. So we got uh, 60, 32, 28,000. The next 12,000 is subject to 50%, so 6,000 there. The next amount above 12,000, so 30, 44, 16,000. 85% of that's subject to taxation. For simplicity, we'll just say 13,000 bucks. So 19,000 of my 60,000 of Social Security would be subject to taxation. Plus, the $30,000 of uh, interest income and capital gains, the 5,000 of that, which is, I'm not capital gains, qualified dividend income, the 5,000, because I'm still gonna be a 12% tax bracket, won't be subject to any income tax whatsoever. So I got, uh, what would we say? Uh, what did I say, for about 19,000 roughly 
of cap of social security subject to taxation plus another 25,000 for interest income so whatever that $44,000 of uh, AGI subtract out roughly $30,000 of standard deductions so I'm at $15,000 of taxable income it's a 10 percent tax bracket so I pay 1500 bucks in taxes on $90,000 of income yeah that's pretty minute man that's pretty minute I can get by with that no debt $15,000 of taxes $1,500 of taxes so I walk away with $88,500 of, of uh, after-tax income. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be just fine with no debt, taxes behind us. Of that $88,500, $11,000, no, $1,100, about uh, $13,000 goes to health care for Medicare. Now, I'm only inflating Social Security at 2.4%, all right? So for every dollar increase in Social Security, you're getting a two and a half dollar increase in your healthcare costs. And that's not just for Medicare, basically, guys, it's for every kind of healthcare there is. So you got healthcare is inflating at two at 5.5% for anything, where social security is only growing by 2.4. So for every dollar in social security increase, you're getting a two and a half dollar increase in your healthcare costs. You know, healthcare is gonna be one of your biggest expenses in retirement, but don't let that deceive you. Healthcare in of itself is gonna be low relative to what uh, your income taxes or hell your debt would be once you got those paid off for sure so i mean you're gonna have health care costs don't get around that but what about long-term care well that's just silly and you know, we did a video on that the other day on uh, my locals live stream about long-term care the vast majority of people just don't pay much out of pocket it's just a fact you know you might not be the vast majority of people you might be one of those other people who have a significant health care cost well the way you deal with that is you self-insure with your assets or you uh, take reverse mortgage to find to generate cash flow, or you just sell your house outright. That's how people do it, man. I'm just, it's not common, it's not rocket science here. Anyway, so the question that comes to my mind is, will working an extra year or two make this look any better for you? Well, but then Josh, I'll have another $100,000 put aside. Do you actually need the $100,000? Do you need it? Will the extra $100,000 enhance your retirement? Well, on the other hand, will the extra $100,000 uh, destroy uh, a couple years of your life expectancy because you're in such a miserable op occupation in your job? You know, I just get so sick of the negativity, man. I'm just, I'm not lying to you. Look, I'll, I just, I hate it. I hate when the Democrats did it when the freaking Trump was elected. And I hate when the Republicans do it because Bo Jiden and, and Sniffy Joe. I'm just like, dude, I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't like Bo Jiden. I don't like the Democrats. I don't even like the Republicans much, but at least they're somewhat sane relative to the Democrats. But at the end of the day, I'm sorry, we aren't living. Uh, it was so much better back in the old days. When? When? The 80s? What? The 70s? Huh? My formative years were the 70s. It ain't all so much better back in the 70s. In the 50s? Really? Was it so much better? Give me a freaking break, dude. I just, ah, oh, man. I mean, just, you got drafted and sent to war to die in World War II, Korea, World War I, and uh, Vietnam. I mean, you got drafted to die, first and foremost. You had no rights, none. You could have just hopped on a plane to fly to go see your cousin in California because the cost is so expensive. Why do you think airline travel was such a, oh, it's so great back then? Yeah, but you didn't fly. You know why? Because you were poor like me. You couldn't afford it. It was so great back then because it was done for the rich people, not for us, freaking <laughs> rabble rousers. Ugh. You know, the car, you got total in the car, you're dying now. At least, I mean, you got a car crash. First of all, you got no freaking, um, uh, you died a car crash because the car would collapse on you. Now the car collapses and just takes all the burn. I mean, still people die in car crashes, don't get me wrong. But it's, come on, I just, this whole idea, you had no, you had what, we had three channels in Maine. We had channel six, channel eight, channel 13, and channel 10. Channel 10 was a PBS, no one watched that. So you had three channels, six, eight, 13. You didn't have any, you had one newspaper, Portland Press Herald, some people would get, you know, I mean, I guess if you had money, you get the New York Times or Wall Street Journal or something like that, or Boston Globe. Uh, but but you're lit, I mean, the media controlled all the information, everything. They still had vaccine mandates back then. I mean, it's insane now what it is, but people are waking up because we have other abilities to receive information and recognize how much we've been lied to. I mean, just, 
you know, I'm talking to my man out in Bellevue, Washington, who doesn't know the YouTube channel. I would have never known this guy, you know what I'm saying, other than electronic communications. Crazy. Yeah, I always wanted to play guitar, but I couldn't, you know, I was like, there's no way to learn a guitar unless you went to a guitar class. And I was, you know, how do you go to a, a guitar class, you know, when you don't have a car halfway across town? And buying a guitar is a pretty big expense. The only way you can learn is through a guy teaching you. Well, now you just go online. I'll never forget, I, I first electric guitar I ever bought. I said, I just want to make it sound like Black Sabbath. I said, how does this, how do I do this? You know what I'm saying? I didn't know you need a freaking stomp box. I just had an amp. And I said, this doesn't sound like Black Sabbath. Well, it turns out you need a, a stomp box. A, uh, what are the things they're called? You know, that uh, distortion pedal, distortion pedal. This is what, 1993 or something like that. I bought that first electric guitar. I said, man, how come this doesn't sound like those guys? You know, and uh, now you can find all that stuff out. My lower back hurts from playing basketball with my son, so I was watching on YouTube these guys showing you to do some stretching exercises. You can't do any of this stuff back in the day, man. I don't know, man. I just sit there and I think the idea that the world is worse today than it was 15, 20, 30 years ago, I just find that crazy. I just do. But, you know, to each his own. If you want to wallow in misery and it's so bad out there, and people do, lots of left wing people do. I don't, I'm afraid to breathe the air. I mean, it's just insane, man. I just, people on the right shouldn't be like that, though. People on the right are go-getters. They should say, let's get it done. You know, if your job isn't doing so well and you're still kind of got debt, man, you ever thought about just saying, huh, let me learn a new trade. Dude, do you know how much these electricians make? Yes, I know there's plenty of electricians on this YouTube channel. I know some are not happy camp, but I get that. But, you, man, you know how much just, I had a guy doing my uh, septic tank the other day. I don't know how much this guy makes. He's young. But I mean, you know how many, just in huge demand for stuff like that. I said, great job? No, but at least you're outside. What, what's your job to do? You got to freaking do the septic tank. All right. Is that a, grunt, a dirty job? Yeah, but you'll make money doing it. Uh, anyway. All right. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I just, uh, I'm not sure working an extra year or two in some crap little job is going to change anything for you. Especially if you have no debt and you've been working on your taxes. I just don't, I mean, my, I don't know, but if you don't crunch the numbers, you're never going to know. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.